Instant. Deposit, hide, and welcome. We are solving a grant of code, day 22. Hopefully, simple enough for us. Let's read it. Okay, so mm -hmm. So we have a cube 100 by 100 by 100, which is exactly 1 million of booleans, right? Which is not unheard of. Um, Finish the second part, it's more obnoxious and difficult to be honest. Plus one for zero zero zero. What? Hi, finally I'm watching it live. Hi, closure guy. Welcome. Uh, glad you could join. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's the first step is definitely parsing, right? And parse line as let something something be matches. So let's the or and off. Hmm. We return something like I don't know the record. 
and then we don't going to we're not going to use the record line. On all min x min x max x max x min y min y max y max y min z min z max z max z alright and parts uh, uh, input is going to be strings put lines input not parts one not clear right and parts example so uh, images, yeah, I forgot the string, of course. Mm -hmm. Minus 20, 26, minus 36, 17. And, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Okay. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, we probably are going to, to say cubes parse input, right? Uh, set, we are going to use bit set. Find this bit set. Java video. Java video bit set. Because why not, right? And I think it needs a size, and our size is going to be one million. I'm also going to write a function that takes x, y, z, and uh, no, we're not going to write the function to too slow. Um, so what we're going to do is do seek uh, cube cubes, right? And essentially what we want is actually keys on menu. The, um, then uh, our z coordinate is going to be range mean z max z and actually well let me check if it's like okay so 10 to 12 it means 12 is included okay and here we actually mean z um Well, we need some checks. Minus. No, 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 no. Uh, how's it called? Like when you try to fit uh, a value between two other values, like not coerce, but limit. That's called limit. Uh, C and this is basically going to be uh, mean B C max A mean B C or something like that. So we're trying to fit B between A and C. So it's at most C and at mean A, right? So it's basically a range limit minus 50 z 50 and limit 
minus 15. Okay, so here I'm going to increment so to make things easier for me because mark z 50. And 50 in this case is also included, right? So 0 to 50 is actually 51 and minus 50 to 0 it's 50 so it's 101 by 101 by 101 so 1 million Right. Okay, so now what we need to do is to find um, a section in the bit set. Mm. So our set is going to be normally we do y multiplied by weights, which is uh, which is one one, but I think here uh, it's three dimensional, right? So each z is um, plus multiple z uh, one one by one one. Kind of like that, right? And uh, be it set, it should have something like set. We need a method that sets a range. Yeah, uh, set from index to index boolean value. Okay, so what we do is set, let's say bits, bits. Uh, plus offset um, kind of like that, right? And value we, we set it to is going to be on and in the end we just I think there should be some count like of bits set to two and bits set so it's cardinality okay so okay let's see if this works yeah what it's set from index it says oh, I forgot fuck I forgot that <laughs> uh, I need to add of course um, min z well um, there's no reason for indices to be from minus 50 right we can change them to be from zero I think so this is going to be like 50 and here is going to be plus 51. Okay, mm, and here we change Oh, I can actually limit just x and it's max 0, mean x plus 1 and 1, so I just limit mean c, limit 1 and 1, limit max c, limit mean x, limit max x, right? Let's see, is this correct number? It looks like a correct number, so we might be doing something right. Okay, let's copy this. 
and we solve it. Yay! But it wasn't hard, right? And it was also pretty fast. Okay, okay. Kudos to BitSet. The force pretty helpful. Okay, part two. Now that the initialization procedure is complete, you can reboot the reactor, starting with all cubes off, run all of the reboot steps of all cubes in the reactor. You can see the following reboot steps. Okay, so this is a different... Just for fun, of those also in the initialization procedure. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Uh, okay, so we've been smart, <laughs> but this doesn't help us. So, uh, yeah, okay, so it tricked us. The, the original task is like, can be done literally. You allocate a megabyte of memory or not, you know, not megabyte, it's like megabyte divided by like 100 kilobytes of memory and you're go golden. Um, here you have actual cubes, so you have to calculate volume and you also have to subtract volume and fucking hell. Uh, and the values are so large, there is no way we can do what we did, right? And I understand what plus one for zero 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 means. Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, okay, so we can take all the on cubes and subtract all the off cubes. But then there are intersections, right? Uh, so we can do every intersection, maybe. Uh, so there are four hundred and twenty. No, we can do every intersection. What we can do is actually split into smaller cubes, probably, right? Can we do that? I think we can. So imagine you have a cube and you add a second cube that intersects, well, a subtract second cube that intersects with the first. So you can split first one into maybe uh, a few, like on 2D it would be three, right? In 3D it would be more probably. But you can do that. And. Uh, this way you can maintain list of cubes, but not list of um, volumes, right? So it's it, it, it got to save you some stuff, some, some, some stuff, okay, yeah. Okay, I think this is the way to go. So basically we take a cube and a cube, right? We take on cube and either on or off cube. We find an intersection and we decide, or we split uh, based on intersection, actually, into smaller. So what we need is, um, well, this is pretty much what we need, right? So we need a cube. Intersect. Oh, 
Yeah, uh, what we need is uh, a function called subtract. Is it subtract or subtract? Subtract. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I like I like this illustration. Um, wait, what? Uh, for some reason here the different features than here. They redrew the illustration. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, so m subtract, it takes c1 and c2, right? And returns basically c1, kind of. Uh, modify, returns a list of, of new cubes and depending on whether they intersect or not, How many cases are there? Oh my god. It's gonna be hard, yes. Okay, let me... I think we are going to need some help. So... Uh, the few... Even like in 2D, there are two possibilities, right? Or like way too many possibilities. So like like this, it could be like this, and it could be like this. Well, it all starts actually like... Like this actually, right? And finally, like this. Okay. So in case like this, we don't modify the cube. In case like this, we create three smaller ones. So like basically, we split here and here, and. In case like this, we just leave this part. In case like this, we can split for three. In this case like this, we don't do anything. Mm -hmm. And this is just for two pairs. Uh, is there? Fuck. I'm just thinking if if there is like generic some generic uh, algorithm that basically solves it. And for x axis, right? Maybe this should be like y axis. I should probably also paint different them different colors. So this one is going to be blue. Maybe I should use fill. Um, 3-3-C, but right. And this one is going to be uh, C-3-3, three, three, and also, uh, it's going to be fill. Okay. So this is for Y coordinate, right? So for X coordinate, we start well okay so here we start with something like this let me remove this thing then we also have this case and we have Obviously, we have this case, in which we don't do a thing, and we have this case, in which we also don't do a thing. 
Okay. 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 Hmm. This is just for two cases. So multiply that by five. So twenty-five cases here, twenty-five by five, one twenty-five. Um, but interesting cases are actually only this nine. So it's nine by three, just twenty-seven, I guess. Is there some generic way to? Sorry, I would probably approach it axis by axis, but I'm too lazy to do it too. <laughs> it's too difficult approach to solve it. Uh, do you mean the you know easier approach? Just 27 cases, right? No, nothing too scary. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, let's try. Let's try a simple case. Okay, so we actually like let's do x first, right? We have three cases. Anything special like this case? Not interested to us, right? This case is probably this case. Okay, so I guess we're good. So this is first case. Uh, the second case is <laughs> this one. We still leave this somehow. Okay, and third case is C one, C two, C one, C two, C one, C two. Okay. Okay, and the left boundary. Is hmm. well, actually, the first case is. Left boundary is less than equals, right? And right boundary is 
strictly, 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 sorry, less. This is the first case. The second case is we don't care about left boundary really. It might be strict or not strict. But here we have C1, C2, and again, uh, here we use this one, right? Maybe equals. And finally, uh, third one is when we have C1, C2, C1, C2. In this case, this must be maybe st strictly bigger. This one has to be strictly bigger. And this can be or bigger. Okay. So okay, so this is three cases. If anything else, we just return the original cube, right? Now for each of three of those, we write uh, another one and it's basically the same but for Ys. something like this and for each of y's like we replace x here with, uh, sorry, with y y y y right and for each of those we actually do z And this is final form. So this uh, Z, 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 Z. Yes. Z, 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 Z. And here. Imagine if I make a mistake somewhere here. This would be a disaster. And this is one of our branches, right? <laughs> Fucking hell. Maybe we can do something with it actually, let me think. Maybe we can split four by one x axis and then do like another one, kind of, right? You don't have to have all 27. Actually, yeah, I actually was wrong. We can, what we can do is split it like this in this case. So consider x, uh, if it's like this, we get two cubes, like left and right, and the beauty of it is, after we get this two, we don't have to consider um, other axes. Uh, like, yeah, 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 probably. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I'm going to remove this. But this is important. Okay, so x could be this, this, and this, and uh, x could be this, this, and this. No, we can't do that. Like, fuck. Well, we clearly can produce. going to be hard. This is going to be hard, yes.
Uh, especially because they can't visualize like uh, the third. Uh, the third axis. So how do we visualize the third? So it's basically Z2, Z1, Z2, Z1, kind of, yes. In this case it's Z, Super annoying. Super annoying. <sighs> so this basically means we can cut off the far part, right? case we can cut off the far part then we cut off the y um, like let's try to imagine what it would be If we're cutting off, that means that uh, there's Z1, the two, like our subtract comes first. So we like basically cut off this. Right. This will be the far cube. So it's basically our original cube. And x1 max x1 min y1 max y1. 
and for z is going to be from max uh, z c2 to max z max z c1 this is um, far slice of the cube right and then we get the front slice with these guys intersect so the way we are going to cut it is the way we are going to cut it is now this is fuck this is not working like 27 conditions and I can make mistake in any of them. This is super crazy. You can just build super small cubes. Like, let's think. Like what we are doing is more optimal, but maybe we shouldn't be doing this. <sighs> I also forgot one case actually. Fuck. Um, yeah. There's also this case. And that means we are all completely fucked. Okay, so this is not working, right? So what I think we could do. If it was, it would just 2D, uh, it would be all uh, super fun. Like in this case, we have to produce 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like 8 cubes, right? No, what I'm thinking is maybe we need to produce all possible cubes and then figure out which of them like are valid or are not valid kind of this is probably what we should do right let's see like in case like this for example how many possible cubes are there. So one is this. Right. Uh, one is this. One is this. Like these are the obvious ones. And they are between these two nodes. Then, like, you take this node and connect it with this one. Oh, this is wrong. Like, ultimately, I want to get a, a grid of all possible cubes. Oh, no, we can do that. We can do that. Uh, it's, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, so... What we do is just take all coordinates and put them in a big um, mess. So like this, 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 right? And this, 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 and same for Z. Um, then we iterate and then we try, try to figure out which, uh, which coordinates are where. 
So basically, for x in sort min x c y. Okay, so this feels like uh, so set is something okay so we have x like this y like this z like this um fuck okay there is another problem This is not enough to make a cube, or is it enough to make a cube? One coordinate is not enough to make We need two coordinates, right? Um, that's why we need uh, pairs of them, right? Pairs, 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 pairs. X1, X2. Okay, and uh, def um, pairs is x and the way we approach it is we map vector x s next x s and Okay, um, and here is say prayers. And here is say this. Okay, so now we have prayers, and basically, this is a cube, and what we need is to check if cube is inside or if it's inside yeah basically we need uh, a function called inside c1 c2 right and basically when uh, inside let cube uh, min x x1 max x x2 min y y1 max y y2 min z z1 max z z2 this is our cube inside cube c1 when not inside cube c2 Okay. And this is our cube set. Right? Uh, and now we need to write this function, but this function is super easy because we know that all coordinates uh, they're not intersection no intersection possible, right? They might touch. But this is all right, uh, and this is basically super easy. Uh, X one. And we repeat this for y, and we repeat this for z. Okay, okay, so this looks super dope, actually. Uh, okay, 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 I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> So what we do is, what we do is, uh, we start with cubes, right? Well, actually, probably run reduce uh, cube. Um, yeah, it's going to be empty sequence. 
parse input and we need to write the reduce function, accumulator, cube. Uh, so basically, we are going to go through each of the original cubes and subtract it. Map cat subtract We shouldn't see empty cubes here, right? We shouldn't because we just said okay. Uh, subtract uh, we take a later and we subtract from what is an accumulator cube. Okay, and if the cube is on, we also punch cube, otherwise we just return what we have. Okay, and finally, let's sum the volumes, right? Volume, cube, let's see, and this is multiple of minus max xc, min xc, right? Like, if the cube is from 2 to 4, Five. Yeah, exactly. I think it's all right. It should be all right. Y Z Y Z. Okay, and uh, let cubes is be this. All right. Interesting is reduce volume um, transduce actually transduce x form map volume plus zero kind of like this. Right? Okay, let's try it for two example. Okay, it's not working. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's in the synopsis. Okay, so this is our value, for example. Uh, the actual example is different, right? Like this. Maybe this is our check. The 22 example. To What do you mean? Where did I start? Uh, start in code. of cubes, yes, as is expected. Okay. Does this look like any... This looks like actually like a correct number. Hmm. Did you solve it? Uh, yeah, I'm coding from different place. I'm in the co-working space, not from home. So that's why the background is different. 
what are the chances that we wrote the correct thing? We actually should maybe optimize a little bit. Okay, let it let cancel. I, I think we can optimize by like cutting off early if or uh, so if either of those conditions is true right or 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 uh, this we just return to that. otherwise we probably need to split yeah now it's much faster uh, Boom, 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 boom. Yay! We did it, we did it! <laughs> How long has it been? Has it been? I don't see it. But we did it! Yay! Uh, so, I was told yesterday that once you finish it, there is also an animation. So, picture does become prettier once you finish everything. Uh, which is reassuring, I think, because so far it's not very impressive, but maybe eventually it will be. Okay, so I have a few more people joined. <laughs> so Pavel Yegorov was not able to solve second part. That's too bad. Yeah, people seem to struggle with second part today, right? And I am... Oh, I know why is this joint, uh, because um, I published a post about it yesterday. Okay, but uh, yeah, I am second from the last right now. Okay, cool. I am actually pretty excited. I, I am glad we figured out this algorithm. It's not the most optimal one. Like, it does split into more cubes than is, is necessary. So we might write a more optimal one that splits like in more optimal ways, but, 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 I don't also want to, like, technically we could rewrite part one with part two, uh, but I don't really want to do that because there's limitation for uh, boundaries. Let's actually see scatter plot event of plot, how people struggle with today's task. Okay, yes, yeah, so today's task like first part eight minutes, second part forty mi minutes. Oh Dmitri one okay, so I randomly uh, poked onto this graph and I found Dmitri Ivanov, which is a whole pixel who was on many streams of my friend. Yeah, he was like at the end of the spring. He actually wrote to me that he's uh, like took place 97 or something like that today. So apparently this is him. Uh, like, wait, oh, where is? Yeah, here, here, here. This is him. So yeah, <laughs> uh, easy first part, harder second part. I don't think we did 41 minutes though, right? It probably took longer than that, but. Anyways, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, let me commit this. Let me actually try to run it from command line first. Just to make sure it all works. Yeah, it all works, cool. Uh, let me commit, and this will be it for today. We are not going to solve more tasks today. But I'm pretty glad we found a way to, to split cubes and not like do 
not do this mess because like <laughs> now that it's four by four by four it's like 64 variants and it's like now it's proper crazy now it is proper crazy um, and for each variant like for you you need to generate not one but many cubes like for, for this case you need like one at least three right uh, no and for this you need four kind of no thank you okay 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 i am also quite surprised that uh once i wrote this the f it worked from the first time like this worked this worked this worked like exactly because uh, that's the beauty of founding a simple algorithm. Uh, if we would write like this huge case table, right, with 64 options, it would be impossible to find a mistake there. Or even worse, there could be a mistake, but we still could get the right answer. Uh, it just we didn't hit it right, and it would be unsupportable. This is pretty supportable, even though it's not optimal. So yeah. Okay. Kind of cool, I would say. Um, thanks for joining. Did I commit? I did commit, right? Yeah, this can't be fun. I even pushed. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, until next time. Bye bye.